Welcome to review by DJSBRC. Today we have the San Rally Puma on the table. And what we want to do to this vehicle today is uh, the sway bar kit for it. This is the uh, Chaos uh, Advanced Tuning Factory Upgrade. Uh, CKM 0304 will it, sh will it focus probably not of course come on camera there we go and one of the reason that we want to do this to this vehicle is just to keep it a little bit more stable <clears throat> uh, going off-roading with it or even on the pavement. And we're just gonna install the rear ones. I'm not, we're not gonna do the front ones. But enough talking and let's jump into it. Uh, gonna remove the body. Put that aside. Since the last time you guys saw it on the channel itself was the unboxing. Uh, gradually we're doing some upgrades to it and then going out there and uh, having fun with them. Uh, it does have a dust shield inside, uh, out of wear. Because these vehicles uh, are very prone when you're playing, especially in dirt, to be a bucket. The complete inside will be full of uh, of debris. Whatever we, where you played, you'll have it inside. With this uh, outerwear on it, uh, it will prevent that. <clears throat> and you can, if you need access, there is Velcros on it. You've access to your battery, or so on and so on. And it's only hold on. To, on the, the chassis itself with uh, Velcro. Now for the purpose of this video, I'm gonna remove it. And just make sure I'm not pulling my Velcro off the body. Put that aside. Now we have our vehicle here. Let's open our pack. Uh, the CKM Sway Bar Kit tells you how to build your rods, what roughly angle to put them, uh, which sway bar is front and which one is rear. Now what I've done I pre-assembled some. Just not, just not to have this video way too long. I assemble all four of these these links. Uh, simple reason, why not? In your kit, <clears throat> you need to assemble these rods assemble this you'll need a two lead uh, wow the rod ends and you'll have a small basically set screw that you will need a 1.5 to insert in one end then you're gonna screw it into the rod end Give or take about half of it. Then you're gonna grab your other one and just screw it in. Now, per the instructions, they say to leave one to 1.5 millimeter space between them. I did one mil to cut my shims. 
I'm close there. Pretty much on the money. Now, if you look at the instructions here, they tell you about 40 to 45 degrees. Now, if I take my link, put it the way they show it here, I'm going to do this one because I do have two of that one. I'm pretty much not even knowing it. I'm pretty much the same. There you go. Now, we need to insert these two links. Not really links, basically the, the ball ends. Ball cap or... Yeah. The way I do it is I grab my 1.5 mil, insert the ball in it. You'll see it there. Grab my my link or my rods, put it on top and put a little bit of pressure and it locks in. I do the same thing for this guy here. <clears throat> and you'll hear it clink. Clink or click? Click. And you'll have your rods or your sway bar holders or uh, there's multiple names you can call these all built. Like I said, I did not need to build all four. Why not? That way, less, less chance of losing any parts. Now, I'm going to grab a set that they are opposite of each other. These are the same. These are opposite. Put that aside. Now, we need to install these guys here in the back or in the front. We're not going to put the front, only the back. And we're going to grab, per instructions, uh, basically saying the longer ones are the rear. And I only want... the less tension. I don't want to put a lot of tension on the sway bars. That one doesn't want to come out. There we go. I would say this is this one here. And the 2.3 mil. Okay, they're all front 2.5, rear 2.3. Okay, that's perfect. But they're saying one set is longer than the other one. They are a little bit longer. Or are they? Why? Yeah, not really. It says, note the link. The limp. Oh, okay. 2.3, 2.3, 2 2.5. Makes sense now. That makes sense. Had the wrong one. Now we see a mega difference. I don't know if you see it, but it's this is going to be the rear. This is the one we're going to use. And we're going to grab these guys. Put that aside. 
Now, once we've figured that, they say to install your links uh, on the end of the sway bar. And this is where that's gonna be a little bit fun. What I'm gonna do here, I'm gonna remove the wheels. And the reason I'm removing the wheels is just to give me a little bit more room. And I might need to remove the rear bumper on it too. I'm not 100% sure. Just want to see here. Yeah. I might need to. Because I always try to remove less part as possible on the vehicle. Now, if you want to pretty much dismantle this thing, go ahead. I try to remove less parts off the vehicle. Let's grab our tires for our older. Now, looking at instructions, just gonna make sure here. The, the three screws are on top. Basically, you'll see on your part here, you have multiple holes on one side and two holes on the bottom. This is how you want them. They want you to install it. The multiple holes goes in first. Right like that. Let's see if she's gonna want to. It's kind of dark. Unfortunately, you can't really see it. But you see it right now. It goes right. It's only one place it can go. Now, what they say is grab your links. And and install them. We're gonna grab two set screw, small set screw grubs. And we need two more. Two other ones, I'll show you where they go in a second here. We're just gonna take those. Grab our small set screw. And install it in sway bar holders. Now we'll grab our sway bar, insert it. What I do, put them like they were on the vehicle itself. I bring the sway bar to the end of the ball right here. And I try to put the set screw on top. And the reason for that is you're equal on both sides. And when it becomes time to adjust them, your tension, when it's on the vehicle, you're not fumbling uh, with your screwdriver, it's on top. That's one of the biggest reasons. Now, what you're gonna do here, I don't know why, yeah. Uh, you're gonna insert it between the rear link and the dog bone. They say to do it with, that's why I, that's, I don't like. So right now I have the shock in my way. There's a couple things in my way, but I'll try to do it their way. There you go. You have to finagle with it a bit, but once it's in, it's in. We're gonna grab our uh, link bar, hold it there, and you'll see it's these screws right here that hold that in. They are two mil, one point, uh, is it? yeah, two mil by 10.
and you do have four to do. And the set screws, no, no. Yeah, you do have four. Why? Yeah, I'm assuming these are for the small, smaller set screw to prevent it. Yeah, so that's what I figured. They're pretty much all the same way, even the uh, Traxxas one. But Traxxas doesn't have this bar. It's uh, pre-integrated in the uh, rear mount. Now, sorry if you're hearing a lot of noises. There's a lot of traffic around the studio today. And it is a nice day. I do have some windows open. Now, I have all my four screws. We will do the set, uh, set screws too. But we're not going to fully tighten them in. Because we want to be able to play with this bar. Now, sorry, you can't really see what I'm doing here, but it's self-explanatory. Uh, you just put the two set screws right here. Now, put the vehicle back down. Now, what we're going to do is make sure our links are downwards. This one's not. There we go. And now you'll notice To install your links, there's extra like shock holes. See where your shock goes in here and in the back both sides, your links, that's where they're gonna go. In instruction, they said to go in the first hole and it will be these uh, M3s. Now to make sure I don't lose anything else, let's put these parts away. Because these ones we don't need. Like I said, these are for the front. Put that away. We're gonna grab our two mil. Now, sometimes these are fun to install. Try to align them. And they won't align. go again you need to tighten these like a maniac when they're snug they're snug do the same thing on the other side if it lets me they're starting there is a little bit of tension on this There we go. Line that one in. Find our two mil. Fully tighten. Now again, if you look at instructions, that's what it should like. Look like look like should i say i 
let's see here. Oh yeah. Yep, that's good tension. Now you can reassemble your vehicle. Let's put our rear bumper back in. We'll hold these two nuts. I don't know, for some reason it's awkward right now. There we go. This is one that's well going in. The other one's not. These are not bolted in plastic. There is a nut on the other side if you do remove it. And basically what I'm doing, I'm just putting my fingers on top of the, uh, the nut and holding the nut there. Time to put our tires back on. And we're done. Rear sway bar installed. Now, thank you guys for watching. And if you have any questions or comments, please post them below. I'll be gladly to answer you guys. And if you like this video, hit the thumbs up. Hit the thumbs up and uh, subscribe to the channel. It does help the channel a lot and I do appreciate it. And there is more upgrades to come for this guy. Thank you for watching.